I'm getting wet here. <laughs> you will, man. <laughs> this is the sound of this Kendall Hall, but how you going, mate? I haven't seen you for ages. Peter Hansen here. I'm your film guy. Hey Ken! <laughs> hey, how you doing Ken? Where, where are you in Thailand or something? Uh, no, Darwin, last I heard. Oh, you are Darwin? Mark Adams. Bri Mark. Bridie Sinclair. Right. Quarter, brother in law. Alastair Bell. Do you know Alastair? Yeah, Alastair! <laughs> Tell, tell Sinclair to stop yakking. <laughs> Kendall says, G'day, guys. Hello. Kendall. Put on your hand. Come here, Ken. I need to. Uh, uh, Elise Guevara Rattray, there is something deeply satisfying about watching this. <laughs> <laughs> and Kendall's in Bundaberg. Okay. Hey, mate, looking good from Mark Adams. <laughs> yeah, brother-in-law. <laughs> okay. Rima Vittening from the Netherlands, greetings. <laughs> Somebody called Rima, Rima, Wittening. You know Rima? No. Hurry up, he says hurry up and catch John Luke. <laughs> I reckon John Luke put him in. I've been sabotaged. John Luke transplanted all these. When I was down the road, the line. <laughs> They're trying to work out what is this crap that are on them. Hey, wait, Kendall, you're probably listening. 
these things, buddy, they're moving. You're getting close to them. I'll go around the other side. And they're little flowers. Flowers, tongues come out. They're actually, buddy, moving. They look like you could eat them. Here we go. They're all, all what the hell? And there are, there are none. They're all under the boat. When Mark came in the other night, she looked clean as a baby's backside, as you can see here, all nice and clean. Yeah, they look like you'd eat them. <laughs> what the hell? And down here, massive big clusters of them. You can imagine them all fanning out. You know, like fan corals. There's, you can see these little flower type fans that come out that clearly gonna catch all the bits and pieces and slow you down. And these, look at these guys here, what is that? They look like, somebody said they're like Torito worms or something. Postulate is all picked up in the doldrums. Look at this, they're bloody alive. Uh, underneath there is a sacrificial anode. <laughs> Look at this, I'm moving. Just making some adjustments here. Only if it were this easy in the water. <laughs> Sorry? If only it were this easy in the water. <laughs> yeah, <it's not. laughs> Good Good Will he be able to put on more anti-foul is the question. I would have thought so. But even if you look between them, that hull's clean. The hull is clean as a whiz, clean yeah, as in between. Yeah, yeah. These don't care about the anti-foul. Yeah. Because the anti-foul is what you look. There's a thing there and there's a thing there that's completely clean. Have a look up here in your uh, uh, hole inlet there. Yeah, well, that's the <laughs> shit house. They're obviously well fed. <laughs> Probably bogged up. <laughs> <laughs> these things don't these these things don't seem to care about the and Kendall they they're just in between them the anti-fouling is clean as, well, they've just attached. Very strange. And uh, Julian's here and uh, Steve Dunn's not, but I know the two of them, they put on a lot of anti-fouling on this boat. Mark, <laughs> Mark, coconut is going to fly. <laughs> uh, J Y Lopi, L H O P I. 
You can see a couple of spots here where he has blasted some anti-fouling off. But pretty much where the uh, these little bugs come off, these whatever they are come off, the anti-fouling's just as it was. If it's failed, well. Anyone out there know what they are? Coming in close again. What are they? They're gooseneck barnacles. They're gooseneck barnacles. Specific gooseneck barnacles. Rather phallic about these, I think. Something very phallic. But they start off as a one and then develop into a cluster. These must be the Atlantic version. And what's with this? That's, that's a hard shell on the outside there. Okay, guys, I'm, on, I'm changing sides. Changing sides, here we go. <laughs> it's always good watching someone else work, isn't it? <laughs> See, this is what you'd expect up near the waterline, the usual, just a bit of green green growth. Nothing big, no big deal. After five months at sea. The side is just like... <laughs> Are the Aussie biosecurity folks on standby to take those barnacles in for questioning? <laughs> Wretched little freeloaders. <laughs> Gary, I have to ring you back, mate. Just on a mission here. What, what, he, what do you got? The, which what? This afternoon, this afternoon, and we got a dinner invitation tomorrow night that we've committed to. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, uh, Annie wouldn't mind going uh, cherry picking. Do you? Oh, God. We might, we might just come for a drive up that Adelaide Hills if we can't. Anyway, I'm actually filming uh, coconut, if you know what coconut is. Uh, so, uh, it's like a little bit of 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 Sorry about that, just a little phone call to answer. The inevitable question comes, Mark. How long before you're underway again? Oh, three quarters of an hour. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
Whatever I see, I'll remember you. If you remember 